हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू बिजनेस स्टडी क्लास मै सेलफ एंजल स्टेला एंड आई बी डीलिंग वित् बिजनेस स्टडी इनिशियली ई वुड लाइक टू कंग्राचुलेट यू फॉर टू थिंग्स द फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट थिंग यू हेव कंप्लीटेड युअर स्कूल लेवल एंड यू हेव एंटर्ड इन टू कॉलेज आई होप ऑल यू आर एक्साइटेड एंड हैप्पी एंड सेकेंडली यू हेव ऑप्टेड ए बेस्ट कॉलेज दट इज नैशनल कॉलेज and uh, really uh, i would like to congratulate you for this actually if we are in offline class uh, the first day will be a very interesting because this will be an introduction class but unfortunately we are meeting through video no issue but also in further days we'll come to know each other all right uh, when we come to the subject here we'll be dealing with business studies the most important and second important concept in our commerce stream and now uh, the content of business studies of first year i'm not showing here i'll be sending you through whatsapp even notes i'll be sending you through whatsapp itself you can copy the notes through video we'll be seeing headings and i'll be explaining so feel free to ask doubts because the concepts or what you are going to learn in college level will be different from your schooling right hence here understanding is most important analyzing the things is most important getting involved in the concept is most important hence from the beginning of the class you be clear that a wise will always as a doubt is it clear wise the one who is having wisdom trust for wisdom trusty for wisdom will generally come out with the doubts hence i'll going to explain the things whenever you come out with the doubt feel free to contact and get your doubts clarified okay now we'll start the chapter that is your first chapter is nature and purpose of business here try to understand that the word business is not something new to us isn't it the word business you might heard the word business in day to day life we generally listen and when we step out from home in one or the other way will be dealing with this hence the word business is not so uh, peculiar word to us it's a just commonly used word but in this chapter i assure you that you are going to learn of what it is in actual many times the actual meaning will be different but the uses will be in different way but and now when we go through this particular chapter called nature and purpose of business will be having a clear idea about the business so here we start with economic activities why i why i am directly starting with economic activities is i am not giving any introduction of business because you might study something about business in your higher primary there you have seen introduction of business also how it is started a world business or it might be business in india that you have bit idea so that we will be seeing in our later classes initially we go with activities of human beings activities of human beings we say human activities activities are deeds here activities are those which are done by the human activities are those which are done by the human beings here human beings will be engaging themselves in two types of activities okay human beings always engage themselves in two types of activities called economic activity and non economic activity so economic activity is a human activity which is done by the human beings with the intention of earning some monetary benefit earning money i can say monetary benefit in the sense earning money 
human activities are of two types that is economic activity and non economic activity so economic activities of human beings are those activities which are done with the intention of earning money monetary benefit and opposite to that is non economic activity so non economic activities are also human activities which are done with the intention of earning money sorry which, which are not done with the intention of earning money opposite i said na these simple thing if you able to remember you can easily classify the human activities into economic activity and non economic economic activities are those human activities which are done with the intention of earning money so example here i want to get you i'm teaching you i'm making a video okay and this will be provided to you right what is my intention behind doing this activity it is one of the human activity i am doing this or why i am doing this activity it's simple to earn money yes college will pay me something similarly i'll be cooking food at my home for my, for my family members why i am doing it it is also a human activity what is my intention behind that do you think i do that to earn money not at all to satisfy the needs of my family members i'll be doing that is it clear so the first one that is i'm making video i'm explaining the lesson and that will be sent to you and you will be watching this and for that the college will be paying me so this is called economic activity a activity done by human beings with the intention of earning money if i do anything why i'm doing this what is my intention behind doing that work if it is earning money i simply call it is an economic activity if i do something which is uh, where i don't have intention of earning money behind that then i say it is a non economic activity you can see many ngos will be working for the society non government organization or even we say them non profit making organization so no one pays directly money for them generally they will be receiving funds as donations but no one pays actually directly to them they will be working for the society they will be running some orphanage old age homes isn't it so why they are doing it they are not doing that particular activity to earn money but they will be doing that to help to the needy in the society so that can be considered as an non economic activity but the same thing if i have a old age home why i am organizing that why i am running that is to earn money to make some livelihood for myself then i say it is an economic activity so the intention makes the difference is it clear why i am doing is more important than what i am doing thus you have to remember why i am doing is most important than what i am doing so if i am doing with the intention of earning money i say it is an economic activity but if i am doing the same thing with the intention of helping someone or to satisfy my uh, social need that is my sat my just uh, i have love towards someone so i want to give something to someone is it clear i love my child so i want to give him something so why i am doing that activity just out of love i am doing that so it is a non economic activity but when i'm doing the same work to someone with the intention of earning money so there that activity will be considered as economic activity now we don't have any for much classification for your non economic activities but we have classification for economic activities so the economic activities are of three types that is business profession and employment all the three are familiar to us in our day to day life we come across these words business profession and employment are the parts are the classification of your economic activity what is your economic activity that is you are doing something with intention of earning money doing something that something can be business something can be profession and something can be employment so this also you have to remember see these headings are most important you have to remember we we'll ask for 
single and two marks okay there you have to remember and now we will be seeing what is business what is employment and what is profession start with business all those economic activities which are concerned with production and procurement of goods and services we call it as business so first we have to remember that all the three like business profession and employment are considered as economic activity okay if a economic activity is concerned is related with production of something or procuring that is buying procurement in this is buying okay so when an economic activity is concerned with producing something or buying something with the intention of selling we call it as a business once again i'm going i'm just going through this all those economic activities which are concerned which are involved with production that is producing something new production in the sense using some raw materials and coming out with some of the output procurement in the sense buying something is it clear with the intention of what to sell so if you see these two things in an economic activity we can consider that economic activity as a business okay you should have procurement buying something with the intention of selling it might be a goods or it might be a service also right and producing something that is taking purchasing raw materials and changing the form that is from in the from the form of raw material you are changing to the form of final products that is output if these two activities are involved in any economic activity we call act that economic activity as a business right example we have many types of business we can see example uh, in our region we can say bmm factories yes we have uh, zindal all those are concerned with what production of doing something that is steel and iron apart from that we come across many like many things like you might see in your colony right shops you will be seeing they will be procuring they don't procure, they don't actually produce anything you will be seeing some retail shops some wholesale shops at the corner of your street they don't produce anything but they purchase something and they resell something the same thing what they purchase they start reselling it to the some other so even that can be an example for business of goods when i say services many types of services are produced and procured example we see the institution vinayaka education society okay they are coming up with what education they are providing service that is teaching they are giving similarly you might be seeing insurance companies they don't produce anything they provide the service called insurance that is safety of money is it clear so in that way when i see economic activity which is concerned with production or procurement of goods and services we call that economic activity as a business second one is your profession so profession is also an economic activity which is concerned with rendering giving providing technical specialized and expert personal services be clear here your profession is also an economic activity which is concerned with not producing anything or purchasing and reselling something it is with technical specialized and expert personal services given to the clients directly see i mean a prof examples like teachers doctors advocates chartered accountants all these you might see even electricians particularly plumbers okay all these comes under what professionals they are specialized in that particular work why we call them as professionals is they are specialized in that hence we call them as they are the experts in that work hence we call it as a profession why it is a profession in detail we'll be seeing in our next uh, topic but as of here you have to understand a economic activity which is concerned with giving providing specialized services to the clients we call it as an profession and then employment it is also an economic activity where two parties will be involved like employee and employer 
employee and employer so employee is one who works for the employer okay under a contract of employment see a teacher it is a profession teaching is teaching job is a profession we call but when i work for a college i am an employee there doctors they are professionals they are professionals in treating human body a particular doctor okay but they work, when they work for an hospital when they work through the hospital we call them he is employee of that particular hospital is it clear so individually if i work i'll be professionalist only but i when i work with some organization i'll be called employee and the one who pays me salary by taking my service and giving to that to the society we call that as an employment it is an economic activity where employer will be there and employee employee will be there and they will be working under a contract called employment so this is about your business profession and employment so it's simple to understand all these comes under economic activity if an economic activity where if you see production or procuring something we call it as a business if you see any economic activity who is doing uh, who is rendering service to the clients we call it as profession and if you are rendering the same service under a particular organization being a member in that organization you will be called as employee and the one who takes your service is called employer is it clear now we'll go with making some difference between all the three just by meaning you may not be uh, full clear with this economic activities through the difference by understanding the difference whatever may be the concept when we analyze in depth we'll be having clarity okay if you have want to have clarity about any concept we should get into that we should know uh, each and every point of that so that we'll be having no doubts now i uh, will see what is the difference between your uh, business and profession and employment because all three all the three are the economic activities so we can find the difference between the three by taking these as point of difference that's what we say it is as a point of difference or mode of difference point of difference on what basis we are going to differentiate the business profession and employment first one is mode of establishment how it is started how it is started so when i say you have clear notes in that uh, i'll be sending you through that uh, whatsapp here you just try to understand mode of establishment that is how a business will be established how a profession can be started or how a particular employment can be started so business by investing some money and starting commencing the business that is actually doing the work the business comes to existence so for some business you need registration and even some along with registration you should have licensing if you want to do a particular type of business you have to check whether registration is compulsory for that so you have register of companies government official you have to register your company through him and then you can start commence that is actually start your business and for some other types of business licensing is very essential so you initially have to take license then get it registered and then you can start your business as i said example you can see some of the shops at the corner of your streets all right so how that will be started how that particular type of business will be started by having some investment and if at all registration is required they'll get it registered if at all license is required they take the license in detail regarding this registration licensing we'll be seeing you know further chapter but just try to understand your process of starting a business will be like this but how a profession will be started initially you should be qualified for that everyone cannot be professionals you should have a particular qualification for that and then you should be a member in the association so every generally in general uh, but uh, in india we don't have such a hard and fast rules for all the professions but in generally associations will be there like if you are a doctor and you want to start your service in a particular region 
so you have to find out the association in that region and you should get it and you should get yourself registered in that association you can start your profession even chartered accountant advocates but for other profession you don't have such hard and fast rules that can be started okay then your employment so when you sign in the employment contract generally you know how you will get employment you have to go you have to attend for interviews if your employer selects you you have to sign in the contract of employment once you sign you are agreeing the agreeing for the you are just saying okay for all the rules and regulations mentioned in the contract and if you say okay for that if you give your approval so from next day you can start working for that particular company organization or institution whatever it may be so in that way business can be uh, started your profession and employment nature of work meaning we have seen a uh, second point of difference is nature of work how the business will be and how your uh, profession will be and your employment we have seen the business profession and employment meaning the same applies here when i say business it involves production or procurement of goods and services that is the nature of work involved in that when i say employment rendering specialized services export services to the clients and when i say employment that is working for the employer under a work uh, under a employment contract then qualification oh, what do you think what may be the qualification required to start a business as i said in india we don't have any hard and fast rules to start only for the business where you need licensing there you might have a uh, maximum uh, no i can say but only for few types of business they may say you to produce your qualification for other it's not at all necessary only if you have money that is you are sound enough to start your business and you have infrastructure for that that can be started but profession is not like that you have to complete a particular studies and then you have to enter into that qualification as of now you know that if you want to enter into teaching profession now onwards it is compulsory i hope uh, even you know that ba is compulsory for that. so integrated ba course we have so in if for example if you want to be in construction field i mean if you want to be an architect you have to study that particular course if you want to be a doctor you have to complete medicine if you want to be a lawyer you have to complete llb mlb like this so whatever may be the profession you want to carry on you want to have you should have the qualification for that so depending upon your qualification your profession will be decided but for business you don't have any hard fast rules so and then for employment employment it depends upon the job for what you are searching for depending upon that your qualification is required then comes a reward or return what is a reward that is a return for business profession and employment for business we say profit is the reward if you work hard and if you are successful in your business you will be receiving profits as your returns or rewards and if you are working as a profession professional you will be receiving fee fees from your clients and if you are working under a contract of employment you will be receiving salaries or wages if you are uh, working at lower levels that is laborers will be receiving wages and employees will be receiving salaries that will be the reward or return business we say profit profession we say fee and for employment we say salary or wages now we'll think of capital investment what do you think think uh to start a business do you need capital that is investment money yes surely we need we need money to start our business even for profession if you want if you want to be a professional and you want to work for something that becomes an employment okay if initially if you want to render your services if you want to have your own clinic if you have if you want to have your own uh, service then what you have want to have capital investment for the basic infrastructure but the requirement of capital for business will be more but for your profession it will be less but when i say employment if you want to work for any company organization where you want to work as an employee 
for example i am a lecturer i want to work for an institution there i don't need to invest anything just i can submit my re resume i can give demo if they like my uh, teaching if they feel okay they can they'll get me they'll get me an opportunity and I start working i don't have any investment there so for employment you don't have investment but if i want to start my own tutorials or own online classes own i am not working for any institution individually i want to start then again i need capital so that comes under your profession if i wor work for an organization it comes under the same professional he is working for an organization through an organization then you don't need any investment capital investment hence we say the capital needed to start business will be more the capital needed to start your profession will be generally less and there is no requirement of capital if you go for employment then comes degree of risk degree of risk so it depends upon what your capital your investment of money generally we say you might heard about that doing business is more risky because your investment will be more there and uh, returns that is profit will be the return for your business and there is uncertainty that is chances of losing what you have invested will be there chance of losing will be there to what extent you will lose it depends upon your efficiency but always there is a chance is that clear so we say degree of risk will be more for business because there you have more uncertainty of your returns your capital investment will be more losing your money will be chances will be more hence we say it is high degree of risk when as a profession as your capital investment will be less we say less degree of a risk and for employment almost we say no risk because it all depends upon what your employer if your employer does not have such hard and rules hard fast rules he'll pay you salary uh, but if he gives you some targets targets generally you'll be seeing like uh, agents na insurance agents sales agents you'll be seeing only if they meet the target they'll be getting the salaries so somewhat very light risk or uh, no risk we say but in case of business high risk degree of risk will be high profession somewhat less and for your employment almost no risk i can say then transfer of interest what is this transfer of interest nothing but transfer of ownership if i have started a business okay now i want to sell my business to someone i want to hand over my business to someone by taking money or in any means then can i do that you know that yes it can be done i'm doing a business i want to sell my business to someone as yes, if he pays money or if else i'm giving him as a gift i can show so the ownership can be transferred from a to b clear but think of profession i'm a lecturer can i transfer this to someone else generally no because the qualification plays role there without prescribed or designated or the particular qualification you cannot be a professional at all hence that cannot be done transfer of ownership cannot be done in case of your profession but that can be done with your business same happens with your employment employment can also it can also be transferred because only if employer agrees and if you have required qualification to that he may give you another opportunity but the same will not be transferred to one another hence we say say own transfer of ownership can be possible only with your business but not with your profession and employment then comes code of conduct it says how you have to behave code in the sense a uh, rules and regulations framed rules and regulations for the conduct behavior okay so code of conduct is generally must for business profession and also for employment but in our india the code of conduct for business is not so highly developed but it is very strong for your profession because of their associations and in case of employment whatever the employer says you have to follow that particular code only for business we say it's not because it's not a developed to the extent and last examples if you say as i said 
any business it might be coming out with production and services like lic we can say railways we say bmm zinda linear region all those comes under examples of business when is a profession teachers doctors advocates chartered accountants all those comes under your professionals and employee working for someone is your employment example for employment so this is what for today's class just i want to go with quick recap initially we have started with human activity and it is of two types economic and non economic activity if a human being is doing something with the intention of earning money we say economic activity if he is doing something but not with the intention of earning money we say non economic activity and your economic activities are of three types that is business profession and employment meaning we have seen then difference between all the three go with that and uh, even notes i'll be sending first listen the video and then go with the notes you'll understand if you have any doubts feel free to contact and kindly get your doubts clarified don't move with doubts i hope it's easy to understand okay till we meet in our next class take care bye bye